Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this video, I will draw this figure in AutoCAD. So, first, I will make this portion. This length is given 22 mm. It means that the diameter of this circle and the diameter of this circle is also 22 mm. And the center distance is also given 25 mm. Let's draw it. Click on circle arrow, center diameter. Make a circle of 22 mm diameter. Now, select this circle. Enter CO for copy. Now, copy this circle from this center point towards this side. Enter distance 25 mm. Press escape. Now press L from the keyboard for line and join the quadrant of these two circles. Press escape now again L for line joining the quadrant of these two circles. Press escape now press TR double enter trim this portion. Escape. Now if we see the figure so the radius of this circle is given 22 mm and the diameter of this circle is 22. If we divide 22 by 2 it becomes 11 mm. It means that the radius of this inner circle is 11 mm and the radius of this outer circle 22 mm. If we subtract 11 mm from 22 mm, it becomes 11 mm. It means that this distance is 11 mm. First, I will erase the ink to see clearly. So, it means that the offset distance is 11 mm. So, I will offset this region by 11 mm, then we will get this region, this outside region. Enter O for offset, offset distance 11 mm, enter, now click on this, click towards this side, click on this line, click towards this side, this is cap. Now I will make uh, first this circle. So for that I will look at the center point of this circle. First I will look at the center point of this circle. So the length is given 148 mm from this center towards this center. Let's draw a line 148 and then draw this circle. The diameter of this circle is also given 22 mm. Let's draw it. Click on line. Then from this center point, make a line of 148 mm. Escape. Now click on circle arrow center diameter. Make a line of 22 mm diameter. Now erase this line. Now I will make these two circles. For this, first I will look at the center point. So, this distance is given 60 mm from this center point towards this center point. 60 mm distance is given, then the diameter of this circle is given 44 mm, and then the diameter of this circle is also given 28.57. We will enter this diameter. This is the diameter before reaming process, and this is the diameter after the reaming process. Reaming is a finishing process, so we will enter this diameter 28.57. Let's write. So, again, click on line. Then from this center point, make a line of 60 mm, enter, please escape, now click on circle arrow, center diameter, make a circle of 44 mm diameter, now again click on circle arrow, center diameter, now make a line of 28.57 diameter. Now, if we see this figure, so this degree is given 40, 40 degree, between this line and this line. If we see the figure closely, so the length of this line towards this center and the length of this line towards this center is same. It means that the length of this line is 60, so the length of this line should also be 60. So let's draw this line. Again click on line, click on this point. Now enter distance 60 mm and for degree press tab. Now enter degree 40 mm, enter. Now press escape. Now we will again make a circle of 22 mm diameter like this one. As the length is given 22 mm it means that the diameter of this circle and the diameter of this circle should be same click on circle arrow center diameter and make a circle of 22 mm diameter now erase this this line and this line now if we see the figure so this is a continuous arc so this is like a circle first I will erase the ink to see the figure clearly So this length is 60 mm and this length is also 60 mm. It means that this whole length should be from this center is 60 mm. It means that this radius is 60 mm from this center point. Let's draw this, this circle of 60 mm. Click on circle arrow, center radius and from this center make a circle of 60 mm radius. Now if we see the figure, so we will make, make this circle, this circle. So this distance is 22 mm. It means that 11 mm from this center towards this side and 11 mm 
towards this side so i will erase the ink to see clearly so 11m towards this side and 11mm towards this side from this circle so i will offset this circle by 11mm enter over offset then enter 11mm offset distance click on this circle towards this side then click on this circle towards this side now escape press tr double enter and trim the extra portion trim this portion this portion and this portion now erase this line this line this line and this line so this portion is exactly made according to this given dimension now the radius of this circle is 22 mm we will repeat the same procedure as we follow here so this is 11 mm radius and this radius is 11 mm so this gap is 11 mm we will offset this by 11 mm i will erase the ink enter o for offset enter 11 mm offset distance click on this side towards this and offset this whole portion by 11 mm please escape now this portion is exactly made according to this given dimension now i will make this circle so the radius is given 35 mm from this center click on circle arrow center radius and make a circle of 35 mm now i will make this failure portion so the radius is given 16 mm that's right now we make this portion by two options by fillet and by 10 10 radius so the best option is 10 10 radius so i will show both options so first i will show the fillet option enter f for fillet now enter radius click on radius enter radius 16 mm and click on this circle and click on this so in fillet this region becomes open and now control press control z now i will make this portion by 10 10 radius so click on circle arrow click on 10 10 radius now click on this circle and click on this now enter radius 6 16 mm enter now tr double enter and trim this portion so this portion is easily made and according to the given dimension so i recommend you this option 10 10 radius this is the best option now i will make uh, this line tangent line to this circle and this portion so enter l for line now press t a n from the keyboard for tangent now click on this portion and again enter t a n for tangent now click on this line uh, this circle anywhere it will automatically tangent click now press escape now press tr double enter and trim this portion escape now i will make this portion so for this first i will look at the center point of these two circles then i will draw these two circles so this distance is given 48 mm from this line and this distance is also given 19 mm from this center line 19 mm then 48 mm upper distance then the diameter of this circle is given over here we will enter this diameter 90 19.05 before the reaming operation reaming is a finishing process so we will enter this diameter 19.05 and the diameter of this circle is also given 40 mm that's right click on line then make a vertical line of 48 mm now make a horizontal line toward left side 19 mm enter escape so this is the center point of both the circle now click on circle arrow center diameter make a circle of 40 mm diameter now again click on circle arrow center diameter now this time make a circle of 19.05 mm diameter now select this line and this line erase it now i will enter this fillet and this fillet so the radius of this fillet is 16 mm and the radius of this fillet is 44 mm let's uh, make it so i will again follow the 10 10 radius command because this is one of the best command so click on 10 10 radius then click on this circle and click on this now enter radius 44 mm now again click on circle arrow 10 10 radius now click on this circle and click on this now enter radius 16 mm enter now press tr double enter trim this portion and this portion escape so this figure is exactly made according to the given dimension if you facing problem then comment below i will answer you